Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk about some tips that you can use to help you overcome morning anxiety. So morning anxiety will be different for everybody, but I can talk about my experience and some things that I've had to deal with are waking up just with a feeling of panic, feeling like my arms and legs are kind of numb and tingly, racing heart, racing thoughts, um, nausea, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. Wouldn't recommend it. Not a good feeling. Not a good feeling. As many of you guys know, I have dealt in the past with really debilitating OCD. And when I was really going through the worst of it, the mornings were always the worst. I would just wake up with my intrusive thoughts and just feeling so, so horrible. And I would just want to go back to bed. I would want to go back to sleep and dream and just not face what was happening. And when I was getting better, I would often feel really good at night and I'd be really positive and be like, oh, I'm so excited for the morning. Everything has changed. And then I would wake up in the morning and have that severe, severe anxiety again. And it would make me feel bad because it made me feel like I was starting from square one again. But if this happens to you, you are not starting from square one. Healing isn't just an upward journey it's going to be up and down all the time but you're always getting better little by little every day so just keep that in mind and there's so many things that can cause morning anxiety you know just thinking about the day ahead and all the stuff you have to do can cause anxiety but there is a biological reason for morning anxiety as well cortisol is known as the stress hormone because it's involved in our body's response to stress and during the first 30 to 45 minutes that you're awake cortisol will spike and this is called the cortisol awakening response and that it'll just make you feel more stressed and anxious so that could be another reason why you are experiencing morning anxiety but let's talk about some of these tips so i really recommend preparing the night before just to make things a lot easier in the morning so this might be laying out your workout clothes or your school or your work clothes having that all done um maybe having your coffee or tea mug out on the counter with a little note that says you're doing great. And a big one that I highly suggest is just making sure your place is clean before you go to bed. So then that way in the morning you can wake up, things are clean, they're fresh, you can just get going. You know, if I, especially, especially the kitchen, if I wake up and there's a bunch of dirty dishes laying around, you better believe that my anxiety is off the charts. So I just take a few minutes before I go to bed and just, you know, try to get things a looking a bit better and if you do suffer from depression i know that it's really difficult to find the energy to take care of yourself let alone your living space so if this is the case you know just try and do your best maybe try to stick to doing one thing and then once you complete that little task it might motivate you to continue doing other things and then hopefully kind of get you out of that headspace a bit and as I'm sure you guys know, sleep is very important for our mood and our mental health and just feeling our best. If I don't get my eight hours of sleep, you better believe I'm not gonna be performing my best the next day. And having a comfortable mattress will make all the difference in the world with having a comfortable sleep. So I wanna give a quick thank you to Birch for sponsoring today's video. Birch honestly makes the best mattresses. They are non-toxic, they are so comfortable and I just really like them. So they have the original Birch Natural Mattress and then the Birch Lux Natural Mattress. And right now I'm using the Birch Lux. It's made with organic cashmere, New Zealand wool, fair trade cotton, North American steel springs, and natural latex. And their mattresses are made in the USA. And the natural materials that the Birch Lux is made out of are very breathable and temperature regulating. It's comfortable for all sleep positions, whether you're on your back, your side, or a combination sleeper. This mattress was designed so you'll get excellent comfort and support regardless of your sleep position. And what I love about Birch mattresses is they have a lot of third-party testing done to just ensure that there's no harmful chemicals in your mattress because maybe you don't realize that your conventional traditional foam mattresses are off-gassing chemicals. The mattresses are free from things like pesticides, heavy metals, VOCs, phthalates, 
um, formaldehyde, all that stuff that you just do not want to be exposed to. Sleep is a big part of our life. We sleep every day. So to have a really comfortable non-toxic mattress for me is super important. And if you're kind of like, oh, I don't want to buy a mattress online, let me tell you, it's super, super easy. You just order it. It comes shipped directly to your house in a box. You just open the box, roll the mattress out, and there you have it. It's set up super easy. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, I highly recommend checking them out. You can go to birchliving.com slash holistic habits to get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And their mattresses come with a 25 year warranty and a 100 night sleep trial. So you can try the mattress out. If you are not a million percent in love with it, by the end of the trial, you can return it for a full refund. And my next tip is to wake up early enough so you can have enough time to do a morning routine. You guys know how important a morning routine to me is. Um, I will link my morning routine video down below in the description box, but I did film that last year, so I should do an updated one. If you wake up and you're rushing around trying to get ready and get out the door, that's just gonna cause you more stress and anxiety. And honestly, I am someone who does not like waking up in the morning so i have to do little ticks trick ticks little tricks and tips to get me out of bed in the morning so one that's kind of a little abruptive and actually it might trigger your morning anxiety um but i'm gonna say it anyways so i do this on days when there's something that i need to be up early for and i'm like i i'm worried throughout the night what if i don't wake up um, I found this app that I downloaded and it's called Alarmy. So basically it's this app and you schedule your time that you want to wake up in the morning and then it gives you a mission to do in the morning. So they have squats, typing, math, a number of steps, a memory game, and basically in order for the alarm clock to turn off, you have to complete your task. So I have it on math because I don't like doing math, so it's going to wake me up. Um, and basically it has like beginner to advance and you have to solve a certain amount of problems before the alarm will shut off. So it kind of wakes you up and gets your brain going first thing in the morning. Um, but if that's a little bit too stressful for you, then I love my wake up alarm clock by Philips. It just brings some light into the room in the morning, especially on those dark winter days. And you can set it to have birds chirping. And I always keep my cell phone in the bathroom at night because I don't like to sleep near my cell phone. So I just keep the volume up and then my alarm goes off and then I have to get up and go into the bathroom to turn it off. So that also helps. Having a proper morning routine makes all the difference. I love to be able to just have time to have a shower, work out, all that good stuff. And speaking of working out, if I could recommend anything in the morning to help with morning anxiety, it would be to work out and to get some movement in. This is by far the most effective thing for myself. Working out is gonna release endorphins. It's going to help clear your mind and keep you focused because you're gonna be focused on working out instead of ruminating in your head. And I personally love doing HIIT workouts or weight training. I like to do something that's a tiny bit more intense because I find that that gets my me out of my head i guess but things like yoga and pilates those are amazing too those are going to center and calm you and you know just stretch it out and i love going for a little walk first thing in the morning just get outside right away even if it's just around your block it's going to make a difference but i love going for my little walk getting fresh air first thing in the morning i put my headphones in and either will listen to some music or some positive affirmations or um, even like I've been liking these motivational videos or yeah motivational videos and um, yeah or you can do a podcast or audiobook and actually there's this one motivational video that I've been listening to in the morning and it just really helps me helps my mind, I guess. So I, if I remember, I will link that down below because it, it's a really good video. Even if you just wake up and do 10 push-ups right away, I guarantee you're gonna feel better. So if you are gonna try any of these tips I'm recommending, the one that I would suggest the most is getting some exercise and some movement in the morning because for me personally, this has been a game changer in my life. 
And something that might help you with this is to get an accountability buddy. So somebody that you can send a picture or a text to in the morning and just be like, look, I did my workout. I'm outside doing something um, just so you guys can motivate e each other and kind of hold each other accountable because I know it can be really easy to put off working out until the end of the day and then you probably won't even do it then. So um, doing it first thing in the morning, getting some movement in is really helpful. And another thing that my acupuncturist actually recommends to do for morning anxiety is to do qigong. And she's been telling me to do this for years and I just, for some reason I don't, but she came over the other day and taught me how to do it. And I did feel a lot more centered and grounded after. So I might be incorporating that into my morning routine as well. It just takes, you know, 10 to 20 minutes and it'll help you stay grounded. Finding ways to stay grounded is so important if you deal with anxiety. And another big thing is what are you eating in the morning? Food 100% affects our brain. It's called the gut-mind connection. So really listen to your body. Are you consuming a lot of caffeine that makes you feel really anxious and jittery? Are you eating a really sugary breakfast, like a breakfast cereal that's been really processed and full of refined sugars and additives? The cleaner you eat, the more in tune you're gonna get with your body and the more you're gonna realize how food affects the way that we feel. So for me, I love to just start my day eating really clean, things like having a green drink in the morning, having a green juice, having a shot of rose nectar. Rose nectar is so good for your mood. So really just listen to your body and see how certain foods make you feel because at the end of the day, food is medicine. So we do need to be making healthy choices when it comes to what we're consuming. And another great tip that helps me deal with morning anxiety is to get sunlight right away. So when you wake up, make sure that you open those blinds, get the sun coming into your room. Even if it's a rainy day, just get some light into your room. Um, maybe go outside for 10 or 15 minutes and just get that sunlight on your retinas. It's so important. As many of you guys know, I love red light therapy and I am so lucky that I have my own red light therapy panel at home. I'm so grateful for it every single day. So I love doing red light therapy in the morning. It just really helps boost my mood. And when I'm doing my red light therapy in the morning, I love to just take that time, that 10 minutes, and listen to some positive affirmations or do a lot of deep breathing. And I just make a little self-care thing out of it. And another big thing that I recommend, I've talked about this in so many of my sleep videos, is to stay off your cell phone when you wake up in the morning. Do not check the news. You know it's gonna be doom and gloom. Do not check social media because that can make you more anxious. So just stay off your phone and electronics for the first at least half hour and instead focus on positivity. The only reason I look at my phone in the morning is to just put something on YouTube. So maybe a meditation or um, my affirmations that I love or you know some positive music like classical music or um i love hand pan music yeah it's just sort of calming music even if you don't feel positive yourself just fake it till you make it and do these little things to add a little bit of positivity and raise your vibration in the morning and speaking of being positive and raising your vibration in the morning i highly highly recommend when you wake up the first thing you do, no matter how anxious you are, either in your head or grab a pen and your journal and just write down 10, 15, 20 things that you are grateful for. You know, instead of always thinking about all oh, these negative things, oh, I have to do this today, I'm so worried about this, I have to check this. This is gonna help rewire your brain to have a more positive mindset in life. Having a gratitude practice in the morning, doing a guided meditation, listening to positive affirmations and really trying to feel that feeling is hopefully gonna make a huge difference on your morning anxiety. And another thing I love to do is play my crystal singing bowls in the morning. One thing I really need to do for you guys is 
create videos of me playing crystal singing bowls so you can just throw them on and listening to that and listen to them because of course most of us don't have crystal singing bowls at home let's just be honest and also when i wake up in the morning and i'm feeling really anxious i will just lay in my bed for a while and take some long deep breaths and a fun fact about me is I don't like to breathe. I am a very shallow breather. I hold my breath a lot of the times and I know that is horrible if you suffer from anxiety because that's just going to make you more anxious. So this is something that I am working on and being more conscious of because breath work is so important for anxiety and I will link some resources down below where you can learn different breathing techniques. And actually let's do a deep breath right now because I think I need it. So just breathe in for four seconds, hold it at the top and then breathe out for four seconds. Hopefully that made you feel a little bit calmer. I would say I'm someone who has had difficulty expressing themselves in words. Um, I tend, I tend to be someone who just bottles things up and kind of thinks overthinks about things in their head and then that just causes me a lot more anxiety. So I've been really working on expressing myself to people, communicating, and just not holding things in all the time. So one way that you can do this is by writing in a journal, just writing things down that are bothering you, just kind of get everything out um, with pen and paper and I'm gonna be honest. This is how difficult it was for me to Express myself when I first started journaling I just couldn't write anything down in my journal because in my head I was like, oh somebody's gonna be reading this journal one day I just have to keep everything inside but expressing our worries and our feelings is so important It's kind of like when you talk to a friend and you just vent and let everything out and they don't even need to say anything but you feel better because you've got it out. So when you wake up and you're feeling super, super anxious and overwhelmed and you're having all these racing thoughts, just grab a pen and paper or your journal and start writing and that's gonna help you out a lot. And then my last tip that I wanna talk about is when you wake up and you're feeling anxious, sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. So if you're waking up feeling bad, just tell yourself, today is gonna to be a good day. Even if your mind is like, no, 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 it's not. I'm freaking out. Just be like, today is gonna to be a good day. Something wonderful is gonna to happen to me. And just keep repeating that. Something wonderful is gonna to happen to me today. Today is gonna to be the best day. Today is gonna to be the best day. And just keep that with you throughout the morning. So those are some of my tips on how you can manage morning anxiety. And I really, really hope this video helps you out, guys. Remember, if you are dealing with this, you are absolutely not alone. When you wake up in the morning and you are are in a really anxious state just remember that Sarah is here for you I am cheering for you and yeah basically you are not alone you are gonna get through this everything is temporary and you are good honestly all I want is for you guys to be happy and healthy and anxiety free because I know how hard it is to deal with this kind of stuff I love you guys so much if you don't follow me already on Instagram, you might want to check that out. And if you do follow me and you're like, this girl never posts, well, I have changed. I have been posting so many stories lately. I'm very proud of myself. I had a little bit of posting anxiety before and I've just been feeling really good lately and just posting things throughout the day, things that I'm doing, some behind the scenes stuff. And I've just been really enjoying connecting with you guys. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.